Happy Nutritional Wednesday. If you're watching the video, that means you're pretty intrigued by the title of today's video. So I wanna get into some good material, but first I wanna preface this video with saying that as an early 20s male, I am not trying to claim that I know what a period is like. Not trying to claim I know what the cramps feel like, that I know what your emotions are doing, but I do wanna say that I've done a lot of research on this. I do have an exercise science background, so I know how the body responds during that time of the month from a physiological standpoint. Everything I do, I do to try to better our clients and to try to give you more advice. It's not to belittle you and try to say, oh yeah, I've been in your shoes before because I've never had a period in my entire life. I know, newsflash, right? I do have some great scientific stuff for you today though. Um, and I hope it's going to help you to get better workouts in during that time of the month. Because I know for a lot of women, that is one week out of the month. That's 25% of our month where maybe we feel like we're not able to go 100% in the gym. Or we're maybe not even able to come in and work out at all because of the bloating, the cramps, and everything else that we're going through. So let me get right into my material today um, after I prefaced all that. If you do have questions, please leave the comments below at the end of my video. The first thing that I want to say, and this is going to be the main topic I go over today, the number one thing that is going to help cramps and bloating during your period is iron. Either an iron supplement if you are vegetarian or vegan or getting natural sources of iron into your diet that week. So things like lean steak. No, I don't want you going out and eating ground hamburger all week long that's like 75% or 85% lean. No, go for a lean steak or a cube steak or a flank steak or a filet mignon or something like that. That is going to help you to get more iron in, more minerals in, things like zinc, copper, magnesium, potassium. All of our minerals are going to be what helps those cramps and the bloating to mitigate during that period time of the month. So we have our lean red meat and our raw nuts. They have to be raw. Once they are roasted, they lose a ton of their nutritional value. It's the same thing with like steamed broccoli or steamed vegetables. I will never get mad at you if you are eating vegetables, but just know that anytime you roast something or steam something, the nutritional content go does go down a little bit. The only downfall with nuts, if you are gonna use them, is they are gonna be significantly more calorie dense just because of the fat content. So. If you think of how many nuts you would have to eat to get that same vitamin quality in, or the same mineral quality in as a steak, you're probably gonna be better off going with the lean red meats. So my tip for you, my application, is during the week of your period, don't go for the fish or the chicken or the turkey. All right, we'll leave those for the other three weeks because I know that they're leaner, they are a little bit less calories, but things like lean red meats, are gonna be amazing during your period to get more iron into your system. The reason that iron is gonna be such a helpful component is because it's an oxygen carrying mineral or it's an oxygen carrying molecule with our red blood cells. That's what's gonna help us to transport more oxygen, more minerals to the body to minimize our cramping and minimize our bloating. I hope that that helps you out. I hope it gave you some good kind of life application to increase that vitamin, or excuse me, the mineral absorption that we need. The last thing I wanna say is in order to absorb iron, we need to have vitamin E. More than likely that is gonna be with a multivitamin supplement or with just a straight vitamin E supplement. Most supplement companies have this figured out, so if you get a women's mineral supplement or a women's uh, vitamin supplement, they're gonna be heavier in those two. If not, don't buy that vitamin or don't buy that mineral because that supplement company doesn't know what they're doing. Most of them know that women need excess iron. I hope that that helps you out today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope that you actually use those tips because as much fun as it is to listen to me talk about periods, it doesn't do anything for you if you don't put it into action. And once again, I wanna end that video, I wanna end this video by saying that I don't want you not to try this because you heard the advice from a 20 something year old male. Good advice doesn't have to come from a female who's been in the same walk of life as you. Um, just try it out, let me know if it works. Um, once again, I'm not trying to claim that I know what you're going through, but I hope it helps you out during that time of the month because I do know that our clients and our members struggle um, to make it in five days a week or to keep giving that 100%. Leave comments below. I love to answer them. I love when you engage with these Nutritional Wednesday posts because it lets me know that you enjoy the content 
um, and that you're actually going to do it. So have a great rest of your Wednesday. Talk to you later, Fit Body.